Folks, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. It is time for a simple adventure. It seems like the last handful of adventures that I've been on have been just like nasty weather every single time. For this trip, it's nice and easy, nice and simple, and I'm out here at Lone Wolf Mountain. What I find to be humorous is just how windy it is. The forecast stated no wind today, but yet it is very, very windy here at Lone Wolf Mountain. Because of that, I don't think camping on this side of the mountain is a good idea. It's just simply too windy. I was going to set up a campsite right here, but yeah, that's not going to work. Let's go explore, shall we? Let's look for a different site. Already, it is substantially less windy on this side of the mountain. My plan is to walk around and see if I can't find a good sheltered spot. This trip is just like any other. The weather is always unpredictable. For me, that makes it fun. As far as being sheltered goes, this is just about perfect. It's not going to get any better than this on this property. The location here, it's not bad. It's not perfect, it's not bad. I've always wanted to set up a good campsite in this area anyways, so it's a good excuse. To go over what I've done here, I've taken a forest rake and I've cleaned up this area. Basically, I took all the leaves, the pine needles, and got them out of the way. Yes, I could sleep on top of them. That would give me some protection from the ground. But this time of year, insects, the bugs, everything's coming to life because it's warming up. All of those bugs, the ticks, the spiders, they use leaves as insulation. When you go to lay on that material, the insects and whatnot will disperse, and you don't want them to get on you. That is something that you don't want, especially with ticks, spiders, and whatnot. I've scraped everything out of the way here. And while doing so, I've noticed all of the deer rub. There is deer rub everywhere. <laughs> A lot of it's very fresh too. So I've cleaned up the site here. Now I'm going to string up my tarp. This is one of those trips where I'm going to set up a tarp, sleep on the ground, cowboy camp, and just enjoy it. Enjoy it while I can. While it's still cool, it's not cold. And within a few weeks, it will warm up to the point where insects will be a problem. The nights of being bug free are almost over. Here are some of the bigger components for this trip. The backpack is a Granite Gear Chief pack. This is a military product. It is awesome. More on this soon. I have a German folding pad, Static V sleeping pad, a ground sheet, an AquaQuest tarp, and my portage bag. 
I'm still thinking about the sort of setup that I'm going to do. I think I will do a diamond pitch storm setup with this tree here. That will give me overall good wind protection just in case the winds shift. There's a saying in the outdoor community, tie smart or tie a lot. And the meaning of that is pretty simple. Tie smart knots, get the job done, so you can move to other things. This is all set up here. A one pull knot up there, it's good to go. You can see how I've taken these leaves and I've banked them up against the side of the tarp here. That's to block wind. Check this out everyone. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is absolutely perfect. And my view here, it's pretty nice. I like it. Fully sheltered. I have just a little bit of airflow coming through, just enough to kind of keep me comfortable throughout the night. Talking about bugs here for a second, because bugs are out no matter what time of year it is. This ground sheet, I've treated this with permethrin. And because I've treated this with permethrin, any bug that comes into contact with it will die. So I can lay on this, I can be fully protected, and I don't have to worry about insects, creepy crawlies, and whatnot. Now folks, this is a product that is going to make a lot of people happy. This is the One Tigress Folding Chair, the new version. If you all remember, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, I don't remember, but I reviewed the One Tigress Folding Chair and Table. Well. Both of those products were discontinued, and today there is a new version of this product. Actually, there are new versions of this product. What I have here is the Coyote Brown version. It's a little bit less expensive than the Multicam version. The weight limit is over 300 pounds. I'll flash that on the screen. But the chair is new and improved. Oh yes, everyone, this is perfect. I like the fact that the company brought out two different versions. If you don't wanna pay for the Multicam Kadura version, you don't have to. If you like just the Coyote Brown, you wanna save 10 bucks, you can go that way. That's cool. I like camo, I'm not in love with camo. I really do just like solid colors, you know what I mean? It is time for a late lunch. It's almost four o'clock, but eh, it is what it is. So for lunch, we have beef and potato from Real Termat. I don't believe I've had this meal.
coffee, lunch, friends. Cheers, everybody, cheers. As far as the weather goes, it's still windy. Pretty sheltered here, all in all. Hopefully with this trip, enjoy just a peaceful, calm night. That would be all right. If it rains, it rains. I'm prepared for it. I don't even remember the last time that I stayed here at Lone Wolf Mountain. It's been a while. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember at all, actually. So the coffee is freaking awesome. It is great. That's the hardcore blend right there. Some would say it's too strong. Not me though. The stove, by the way, is a Swiss military product. This is the M71 stove. These are awesome. When you run out of fuel, you can use Sterno or anything you want. This is my washcloth, which may or may not have caught on fire when removing that pot, so. <laughs> With the one tigress chair, I mentioned the table. The table was discontinued at the same time the chair was previously. I'm sure you're wondering, is there a new table? No, there's not. There's not a new table. As soon as I saw that they had new chairs available, I contacted the company to ask them if they had plans on a new table. They said no. There are no plans currently for a new table. They said if these chairs sell very well, they may bring out a new version. Now, I've been trying to find a replica, a copycat of the One Tigress table because people ask me about that thing all the time. So, I've done some searching. I have found a version of the One Tigress folding table. On a website called AliExpress, there are versions of that table available and they run anywhere from like 15 bucks to like $25. They come in multiple colors, including the multicam. They look to be just about identical to the One Tigress table. So I've ordered one of those. We shall see. That is my first experience ordering anything from AliExpress. So, um, yeah, I will share my thoughts and my experiences with that as things move forward with the order. While looking at the One Tigress website, I couldn't help but notice that they now have a wood stove that goes along with their hot tents. I was very curious about this, so I went ahead and got one in. And the next adventure will be a One Tigress adventure. Hot tent, the stove, the chairs, and so on. I tell you what, if this stove turns out to be a good product, it is very inexpensive for a hot tent stove. I believe the price is like 250 bucks, right around there somewhere. It's about $100 less than the Winterwell stove, and the quality looks to be very similar. So we're at the shed, let's take a look in here. Without a doubt, the shed needs a little bit of work and this year I'm going to do it. Already, I've gotten the wood in so I can replace most of these boards here and I'm going to put up some sort of gutter system on this. That will be pretty easy. I could wrap that up half a day, something like that. Just in case you do not know, Lone Wolf Mountain is roughly 20 acres here in Western North Carolina. Susie and I purchased this some years back so that we had a place to not only test out gear, film adventures, but to just get away from it all.
I wasn't planning on being inside of the shed so soon, but it's raining. Flat out raining. It's not very hard, but that's how it goes sometimes, everyone. I'm going to get this stove going. Might as well sit around the fire. Listen to the rain. This is the perfect day, everyone. <laughs> Not the trip that I was planning on, but this is awesome. The thought didn't even cross my mind about being inside of the shed today. But, uh, also, it wasn't supposed to rain either, so that's how it goes. Yeah, this is cool. Already, folks, it is so nice and warm in here. It really does feel just amazing. I went ahead shut the stove up, even though I really want to leave it open. There's something just psychological about having that fire, being able to see it. Luckily, I don't have to gather much firewood because I have quite a bit inside of here from the last time that I camped out inside of the shed here. The plan is pretty simple. I'm just going to enjoy the fire. It'll be dark in just a few minutes. It won't be long. It'll be time for dinner and then time to turn in for the night. The last hour or so has been very peaceful, very relaxing. Just been chilling in here, listening to the rain, and it's still coming down. This stove is putting off so much heat. Even with the holes here in this shed, I mean, I am perfectly comfortable. Outside, it's about 41 degrees. Inside of here, I mean, it's gotta be 60. <laughs> this is a lot of stove for such a small space. With it getting late, it's almost dinner time. I put some water on the stove and it will be ready fairly soon. When it comes to a cast iron stove like this, of course, here's the cooking eye. But let's say that you wanna heat up some water really quickly. You take your pot, put it right up next to the pipe here and it'll boil just like that. Dinner tonight is shepherd's pie. Now, I have a question for you all. What do you like to eat when you go backpacking and camping? Do you like to really cook up a storm? Or do you like 
out of the bag into the man or woman sort of meals. That is awesome. Mary Jane's Farms Shepherd Meat Pie. That is really, really good, folks. Now, folks, I don't usually do this, but I have a shout out to make. This goes to Donnie, my friend. I've been talking to your wife, who is a lovely lady, and she's told me about your situation, and my heart goes out to you, buddy. Be strong. Be strong, my friend. Take care of yourself. While it's not my place to say what he's going through, it's private, but um, if everybody could send him some positive energy, some prayers, good thoughts, whatever you want to call it, Donnie can use them. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's funny, I plan to do all sorts of other things, but that did not work out because of the rain. Initially, my plan was to set up a fire pit next to the tarp there and build a bushcraft stove, but that did not work out. <laughs> that did not work out at all. And that's okay, that's how it goes sometimes. Some of the best trips are the ones where you can just kick back and relax. Those type of trips where something forces you just to stay still, just like today. It's been awesome. Over the last couple of months, I have been hearing from so many people who are getting into the outdoors, and I'm so glad to be a part of that. There's just nothing like it. Getting out to experience nature, to turn everything off. For myself, it's my number one passion in life. It really is. I look forward to it more than any hobby that I do or anything like that. While I love being with Susie on trips, there's a time and a place to be alone. Today, just being out here all by myself, it's really been what I needed. It's given me time to think about the good things in my life, the bad things, and it's given me the opportunity to think about solutions to my problems. That's one thing that I just love about the outdoors. I feel like, for myself at least, it's the only time where I can really think clearly. I don't have to worry about distractions and beeps from phones and computers and stuff like that. It really is amazing the benefits that come with being in the outdoors. There's so many that are scientifically proven. For one, it is proven to give you more energy. The more time you spend outside in nature, the more energy that you will have. Not only is it a boost to your body, but your brain as well. Also, when you're in the outdoors, it's easier to exercise. You're moving your body, you're losing weight, you're becoming more energetic. It's awesome. It really is. This may sound crazy, but it's been proven. There's been studies done that show that by being outside, not only do your stress levels decrease, but it also helps with pain. So those who have health issues, get outside, get some sun. It's good for you. A big benefit to me is that it makes you more creative. You get to think. You get to come up with ideas and brainstorm. Some of the best ideas I've ever had, including starting this channel, came from being in the outdoors. And equally as important, it grounds you. Being in the outdoors, experiencing nature, it can completely change your perception of the world. Now, that's not going to be the case for everybody. There's always going to be that individual who is chopping down trees for the hell of it, throwing trash all over the place. There's just simply bad people out there. But for good folks, like you and I, being in the outdoors is going to do a lot of good. Everyone, it is chilly out here. Temperatures in the mid 30s and breezy. Feels good. <laughs> it's a great night to kick back underneath the tarp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. I'll take my jacket off when I warm up a little bit. Whew. For the tarp here, I had to do a modification. This material had stretched some in the rain, so I've taken a stick and propped it up here in the center. It's giving me good protection from the wind, and it is quite windy right now. Let's see here. What movies do I have tonight? It's guaranteed to be something terrible. All right, so I have a movie here called Malone with Burt Reynolds. I'm going to start that up. 
call it a night, everybody. All right, let's do this. Good night, everybody. I love being underneath a tarp when it's raining. That is so peaceful. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's about eight o'clock. And last night was awesome. It was awesome. It rained steadily all night long. In fact, it's drizzling now, but sounds like it's coming to an end. <sighs> that is so funny. The forecast was so wrong, so wrong. I need to get up. I need to check the weather and see what's going to happen today because that's going to dictate what I do today and how long that I'm here for. Yesterday morning, they were forecasting a big rain event starting some point in time today. So, yeah, I don't know. Since the weather forecast was so off, who knows what to believe. Originally, it wasn't supposed to be windy and it really wasn't supposed to rain. It rained all night long, steady. In fact, you could see here on the ground, this is the only dry spot. <laughs> That's funny. Good morning, good morning. I love Lone Wolf Mountain. Yes, I do. It's a beautiful morning here. Nice and chilly. I'd say the temperature's around 35 degrees, something like that. It's not terribly cold. So there is a massive wave of rain that is on its way. The rain that we just received, it moved out, but there's another wave coming in behind it. So I have a little bit of time here, enough time to make some coffee, have breakfast, and then I will hop out. Everything here is soaking wet, so getting a fire going outside of the shed would be difficult. Hanging out inside of the shed, that would be fun though. Hmm. What do you all think? Should we do an overnight adventure in the shed even if it's not ready to go? Comment down below, let me know. Here at the channel, I try to do adventures that you all want to see, so I take your feedback and I run with it. A viewer stated they wanted a very minimalistic camping trip, so here you go. It really doesn't get much more minimal than this. Tarp, bag, pad, that's it. It's coffee time. Cheers, everyone. Normally, I drink Taster's Nasty, right? Roughly three weeks ago or so, something like that, I received an email from a guy. He said that he got some Taster's Nasty in, and he's like, how can you drink that sh <laughs> that stuff? <laughs> he said that was the foulest coffee he's ever had. I call it Taster's Nasty for a reason, folks. It's not good. <laughs> that was funny. When it comes to breakfast, I'm having a heck of a meal. A bar and some figs. Ugh, that is as hard as a rock. I'll tell you what, everyone. Let's do something we haven't done in a long time. Let's read some odd news headlines. One, two. The first one here is cat trapped in tree over the weekend is rescued given spaghetti. What type of headline is that? <laughs> That's not odd news, just a weird headline. These are the worst headlines ever. What? <laughs> this is a failure. <laughs> All right, folks, <laughs> sorry. Every single one of these headlines is awful from this site. Let me try again, okay? One more time. Washington man arrested for stealing 400 pound slide and then mounting it to his child's bunk bed at his house. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Florida man with the state tattooed on his forehead calls 911 for a ride home. And <laughs> he really does have the state Tattooed on his head there. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, I give up. Terrible news. Not even funny. That was a failure. <laughs> Fine. 
it's fine. It's starting to get fairly dark this direction, so I'm going to wrap things up here, head on out. Thank you guys and gals for joining me for this trip. The adventure is over until next week. I will see you all on Sunday with the next upload. And until I see you again, take care. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel. Strength and honor. Bye everybody.